Good morning, babe. Care to say good morning to the people? Selena says good morning to the people. How are you guys doing? I just woke up and I ran into a little article that I wanted to share with you guys that I thought you would find of interest. It's about running. It's about exercising. It's about how to breathe, how to power your run with better breathing is the name of the article. It's a New York Times article that I just ran into by Hannah Seo. Seo. So Hannah So. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, and I wanted to kind of go through it because I feel like this is like a really enticing subject for the body and how to breathe while you're running, how to improve that mechanism that I think a lot of people actually do incorrectly when they go out. Even naturally, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of breathing techniques on like YouTube and stuff for like meditation that you can work on in order to improve your breathing, because this is something that naturally we do incorrectly. Uh, a lot of people while they're sitting at their desks or while they're uh, just doing normal mundane things throughout the day tend to like really shallow breathe like but you have the entire capacity of the lungs and you're supposed to be filling the lungs with every single breath and if you do that properly you will find that you don't need to take as many breaths you get a better flow of oxygen going through the body The idea that I heard once is that you have to fill the entire lung from the bottom of the lungs, starting from the bottom of the lungs. So your, your stomach expands first. And then as it moves up, the last thing that should occur is that your shoulders lift up and then the shoulders drop down first and then the belly exhales last this is um called belly breathing it's 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 used in i believe it's hindu hindu meditation um but it it, it ensures the full experience of breathing and it, it, it is actually you can feel a difference in, in in how you feel almost immediately when you start to do that for a minute straight but believe me when i say that some people some of us are so unconscious of how that we breathe that we we can't really do that for a minute straight it's weird because we're so used to the way that we breathe so let's go through this article let's see what she says most runners know that in order to get better they need to train the major muscle groups that are activated during a run the quads the glutes and hamstrings and calves but few think about training the muscles that allow them to breathe specifically the diaphragm said Kristen conkle an associate teaching professor of exercise science at syracuse university and that may be putting runners at a disadvantage when runners are not efficiently using their diaphragms during exercise they're limiting how deeply they can inhale which in turn limits how much oxygen is absorbed and delivered to their muscles true that ultimately affects how well those muscles function during exercise said nicole hagobian a running coach and professor of kinesiology at cal cal poly tech state university while there is not a lot of research on how diaphragmic or belly well, belly breathing or belly breathing directly improves running, the experts we spoke with agreed that at least in theory, it can help to increase your oxygen supply during exercise. Here's what we know about how diaphragmic breathing can help you help your run and strategies for doing it properly. What is the diaphragm and how does it help? The diaphragm is a large dome shaped. Okay, we know what that is. When you inhale, it contracts, flattens, and creates a suction-like force, sort of like a syringe that pulls air into the lungs. Mm. Other muscles in the chest, neck, and shoulder also help to bring in more air by pushing the chest up and expanding the upper and middle regions of the lungs while that we inhale, Dr. Wu said. So this is a really good... Wow, it just started raining. This is a really good point because we we have so many muscles in the body that are going unutilized. And this is this is an issue in every aspect of running. Like sometimes we're not firing our glutes. Sometimes we're not properly activating our, our hamstrings. We're not we're not heel kicking high enough. We're not driving our knees forward far enough. We're not doing an arm swing properly enough. Like like there are a lot of unutilized muscles and breathing breathing is one of those things where it's like there's so many more muscles than we think that go into this action that that we we are not really thinking about you know and so this is this is this is really good so far uh, diaphragmic breathing involves consciously using your diaphragm to take deep breaths by trying to inhale your into your stomach ah so so your stomach you have to have movement in your stomach because your abs and your diaphragm all that it has to be active in that action rather than into your chest yeah because sometimes we just 
and we're breathing up here when we should be breathing breathing this an entire body action one way you can do this is to lie on your back with your hands in your stomach and take deep breaths through your nose consciously trying to force air into your belly as you do this the hands on your stomach should rise yes so you should feel that action this exercise would help you and I'm, this is not part of the article i'm reading but this action would help you to be conscious of what actions you should be feeling so when we're working with our body we should always be conscious of what we're feeling while we're feeling it um so that in the future it becomes second nature you don't really have to think about how it feels when you know how it feels but when you don't know how it feels to breathe with your stomach it's going to be kind of hard to replicate without actually using your hands or taking that time to be conscious of what what is it what does this look like what does it feel like what muscles are contracting right uh, Dr. Hagobian teaches runners the technique by placing one hand on the belly and one hand on the chest and then taking quick and shallow breaths to demonstrate how the hand on the chest moves much more than on the belly. She then takes a deep diaphragmic breath, pointing out how the hand on her belly is now on is now the one moving more while the hand on the chest is mostly moving still to get the hang of this kind of breathing and to make it more second nature second nature notice the keywords that she's using dr conkle recommended practicing the technique for 15 to 20 minutes every day or every other day for a couple of weeks similar to how we train our legs we have to train our lungs so in some meditations that i've done uh working on your breathing there's a lot of different ways that you can do it you can breathe quickly you can breathe slowly and deeply um but either way all of those exercises help to bring in more oxygen and so a lot of us are going throughout our daily routines with a very minimal amount of oxygen in order to get to the next breath if you take the time to look up some of these things i can put one that i recommend there's one by i think this girl named shivarasa 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 but um she does meditative breathing things and so she has this morning one where you're breathing in and out like And what's so interesting about it is how lightheaded I got the first time that I did it because I wasn't aware of how much oxygen, like the um, increasing the amount of oxygen can dramatically change your blood flow. Oh my gosh, like almost to the point where you will get dizzy off of the way that you're breathing. The same way that you would get dizzy if you were trying to go out, put an exercise in and you were not increasing your breaths. For the same reason you would get dizzy for not having enough oxygen, you could also get dizzy for having too much, too much oxygen is what I have found. Look at this, having a rhythm helps you to focus on your breathing techniques and keeps it from becoming erratic. As you get better at taking full diaphragmic breaths, you should see subtle but noticeable changes to your runs. You should require fewer breaths per minute and you may feel more energized, all because you're getting better at supplying your body with the necessary oxygen. Here, here's my personal advice to you guys. This is what I've learned. Warm-ups are treated incorrectly. So let's say you're doing a two-mile warm-up for a big workout, or let's say you're doing a warm-up for a race. The warm-up needs to be a full body activity, and you need to take that time to be conscious. Most people think that the warm-up is for you to just like warm up the body like let's raise the temperature of our body and let's loosen up the muscles no my philosophy on warm-ups is that the warm-up is the body's opportunity to speak to you because you are not always on the same page as your body you could your body could be having a very rough day in the office and you could be about to have a bad race because your body is just not feeling it today it's what we call waking up on the wrong side of the bed like oh it just wasn't it just wasn't the day it just didn't click right but when you go and warm up you have to move forward acknowledging that that time is is your body's opportunity to tell your mind your thoughts this is what's wrong. This is what I need you to work on. So when you come back from that warm up and your calf is tight, your body is telling you, hey, I need you to loosen this up a little bit more before you go and blast this 800 meters or race this mile into the ground or do this 5K half marathon marathon, because that that's your body's defense mechanism. That's like 
that warm up should be treated like a communication between the mind and the body. The mind says, hey, I'm about to use you in a tremendous effort. Please tell me what it is that you need in order to be able to do that efficiently, effectively, and to the best of your capabilities. Breathing is one of the best things that you can focus on in your warm up. Initiating that blood flow so that the circulation is top notch is something that a lot of people do not do in their warm ups. When I go out and I start the warm up, people will be like, Are you okay? Like, I'm like, I'm over exaggerating the breathing to better understand where my body is, but also to help my body to warm up quicker. Like, I could be going like a 10 minute mile pace, something slow for me, something slower for me that I use to be able to warm up and I'll be breathing like <sighs> and I'm doing that. <clears throat> I'm doing that in order to be able to to hear, to listen, to be able to see, OK, I need to get in tune with my body because I'm about to ask a lot of it. Um, this is something that if you have never done, I recommend that you do. It could really help. It could really help to be able to understand your body a little bit more. Breathing is, is an awareness. It's an awareness exercise. Like we do it so unconsciously all the time that it can become an awareness exercise by simply becoming conscious of your breathing. You, you, the things that we forget about are the things that we've gotten so good at that we don't really think about it anymore. You don't really think about how to brush your teeth, right? You don't really think about how to scratch your face. You don't really think about how to, how to blink. Like you don't think about how to chew your food. Very simple things that we've done so often that they become unconscious. But what if you took the time while you're chewing your food, while you're brushing your teeth to feel each and every stroke, to to taste every single flavor, to to breathe in through your nose while you're chewing, to, to feel what it feels like to chew, what side, what side of your mouth do you chew on more dominantly? All those small details help you to become more conscious of where you are in the moment instead of running on autopilot those small exercises add up right and if you translate them into your athletics if you translate them into into anything that you're doing the more conscious you become the more available you are to improvement the more you can see oh i never knew i did that like what if you've been running your races not getting enough oxygen what if you've been doing your athletic activities and you're realizing like you're only hindering yourself by by how little you're actually breathing? Are you like some people still breathe through their nose while they're running like you can't you can't do that efficiently. You need the most amount of oxygen in that moment in order to be able to help your body like you can't afford to be breathing through your nose in the middle of a race. Here's a hard one. Can you breathe through your nose and your mouth at the same time? <sighs> breathing in through the nose and breathing in through the mouth at the exact same time. So this is a really cool subject. Again, the reason it's a cool subject is because we're unconscious of it. So I highly recommend that you try this out. Um, this article, if you want to take a look at it, I will share it down in the link below, right below in my description. This is a New York Times article by Hannah. Uh, so Hannah, so she she's an art. Uh, she's an author that writes about mental and physical health and wellness. Um, I really like this article. I think it brings a good awareness to to how you can combine like a meditation technique with athletics and how that can help us to improve. So I uh, hope you like this video. I wanted to cover this really quickly. And um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm having a lovely morning. I'm going to try to go out and um, well, eventually today i'm gonna go out for a run um, because i've got a workout tomorrow so i will keep you guys updated with that that's the fun topic for today i will see you guys on the next one i hope you guys are having a brilliant brilliant marvelous day and i hope that you are blessed with gratuity with gratefulness with love kindness for yourself and for others because it all starts here first and then you get to spread the love to the world I'll see you guys on the next one Peace out. Bye-bye. Until next time.